For everybody wondering why um, the Browns would entertain this, take a look at these numbers for DeAndre Hopkins playing with uh, Deshaun Watson. Watson had a pass rating of 101, almost 10,000 yards, 71 touchdowns, 29 picks when they played together in 38 games. So I guess uh, the question becomes this, Brad, when you, when you look at it. How much have the Browns upgraded their wide receiver core up to this point? And does DeAndre Hopkins, does adding him to that, does that move the needle that much further ahead? So I think they really have made significant improvements. I think, as we've talked about before, Elijah Moore brings a skill set that was not really there in a shifty guy in the interior that gets open quickly, and you can help get the ball out of Deshaun Watson's hands quicker, uh, which I think is an important element, especially in this Kevin Stefanski offense. I think he'll be used on a lot of jet motion, and and they'll do different creative things with him to get him the ball early and often, and just keep Deshaun Watson upright, and, and, and you know keep the the offensive line fresh early on in games as well. But the reason why Hopkins, not just because the connection, not just because he's quote unquote good, the reason why it does make a lot of sense and is very tantalizing is I think his style is a perfect fit with Deshaun Watson, where Watson is comfortable throwing to guys that are covered or are not wide open. And Hopkins has never been an elite separator. He is a contested catch guy that 50 50 balls to him are really, you know, 80 20 <laughs> balls, all the cliches, whatever. But it's true. He's a guy that makes these acrobatic catches. He has great body control in the air. And then he can make guys miss in space after that. And Watson is a guy, you know, some quarterbacks don't. Some quarterbacks like a Derek Carr, you know, they're afraid to throw to a guy that's covered and they don't trust he'll come down with the football. I think Watson and him have always had a good. Both of their styles line up pretty well. I guess you would say that's the Donovan Peoples-Jones in this offense, and no one's going to argue he's a better player than DeAndre Hopkins, no matter what version you're getting. I think that's the tantalizing piece is, stylistically, he's again a different piece than what they have in this offense, at least at a high level. Because I do think Donovan Peoples-Jones is a good player, maybe not a great one, though.